Good afternoon. I'm Tanya Arneson, Senior Pastor of Jackson First United Methodist Church. And this is Food for Thought for Wednesday, July the 8th. During our sheltering time, I've been sharing with you excerpts from Joyce Rupp's book, Fresh Bread. These are spiritual writings that help us reflect deeply on life with God. This um, next few sessions, I'm going to be lingering with Joyce because the month of July, she writes particularly about letters from God. And since letters are one thing that we can do safely in this time of sheltering, I want us to really savor all she has to say. On Monday, I shared with you a poem and some personal thoughts about letters. Um, and today, I want to just begin a portion of this chapter on letters. Yesterday, I went to the mailbox, and there was a happy surprise waiting for me a long overdue letter from one of my favorite people. I immediately took it to my room, sat in my comfy rocking chair, and read the contents with great fondness. As I read its two full pages, I felt tears begin to surface in my heart and fill my eyes. Little drops of joy fell upon my cheeks. I closed my eyes and held the words of the letter close to my moment of happiness. It was one of those times when I realized how much God gives me in the treasure of friendship and in its long lastingness. As I reflected on the letter, I recognized that it was easy to be in touch with the inside story of my friend's heart. For she wrote not only of external events, but also of the internal events of her life, her many shades of feelings and insights over the last few weeks. The tears of gratitude came because I was overwhelmed with the gift of being able to read someone else's heart and to see so much wonder, beauty, and goodness. I think that it is what it's like to be a letter from Christ, which the author of Corinthians writes of in chapter 3. It is to look into someone else's life and to see there the wonder, beauty, and goodness of our God. It says, You are yourselves our letter, written in our hearts, that anybody can see and read, and it is plain that you are a letter from Christ, drawn up by us and written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not on stone tablets, but on the tablets of your living hearts. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 2 and 3. A letter can say many things to the receiver and many things about the sender. When we receive a letter, the handwriting, the content, and the way it is worded all indicate information about the author. How does this person begin the letter? Warmly? Fondly? Happily? Sadly? Angrily? Does he or she take a long time to get to the heart of the matter? Or is there any heart to the matter? What is the farewell like? What about the handwriting? Slow and methodical? sweeping and luxurious, stately and dignified, sketchy and hastily penned, tiny and painstakingly written. What about the messages? Excited, calm, worried, sad, elated, searching, joyful, wondering, daydreaming, intense, personal, containing goodbyes, hellos, love developments, love expressions. Sometimes letters only say surface things, mentioning external events and places or situations. At other times, the letters have messages that easily put us deeply in touch with the senders. We perceive quickly who they are and how they are. 
this is the kind of letter that the author of Corinthians intended. To be a letter from Christ is to be so transparent that the goodness of our inner selves is seen. The qualities of Jesus shine forth in us like messages shine from a letter penned from the depth of one's heart. My friends, during these slower days of the month of July, I hope that you will take time to write a letter in these next few days. Write a letter that might deeply touch the receiver. Think about who needs to hear from you and who needs to receive their letter from Christ through your words. Be a letter of love from Christ to someone, will you? Let us pray together. We thank, we thank you, O oh God, for the opportunity that is ours to share our love and in so doing to share your love with others. Use us in these days to be your love letter to someone that we love. In Jesus' name and for his sake we pray. Amen. I look forward to continuing with Joyce Rupp's work in these next few times. But until I see you again, be blessed, be well, and know you are beloved. Amen. <music>